Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be updating Final Cut Pro right here on your Mac. So let's get started. On the top left hand side off your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. Just click on your Apple logo. From here, we're going to go down into our third option where it says App Store. So it's a third option. From here, we should see updates. If you don't, on the left hand side, you will see the last option where it says updates. So click there and then we will see Final Cut Pro and Compressor. So those are the two main ones that we're going to take a look at today. If we click on more, we're going to see a little bit more information about it. And you guys will notice that it's only three gigs. So for some of you, three gigs will take a couple seconds to download. Others, this could take an entire day. It really does depend on your internet speed. Anyways, as compressor goes, it's the exact same thing. Just click on more. You guys can see exactly how big that is. This one's a lot faster because it's only around 300 megabytes, which is really small. In order to update this, just click on the top right hand side corner of Final Cut Pro. Same goes for compressor or any other apps that need updating. If you have a lot of them and you want to update them all, always, always on the top right hand side, we can go ahead and update all. Now, before you update Final Cut Pro or even compressor, I would highly, highly suggest just to go on and finish up any projects that you have done. So I never, never, never recommend updating any software unless you're all done with any current projects. If you're in the middle of a project, do not update because some updates are glitchy. Other updates might kind of screw up your project. So you do not want to do that. And how do you know this update's actually working? Well, you will notice this circle right here. It is going to the top. So that means it's almost done. Same goes when I look at compressor, I can see that it's almost done the update because that's moving up. Now I also want to highlight that you can always click on Final Cut Pro itself or compressor just right here. And then it will bring you up to this page where we can also see the progress. Plus we can see more information about the app itself. So again, it's going to tell you the exact same thing. What's new exactly about it. So here's an explanation. There's always little things that they're making optimizations to Final Cut Pro. The exact same thing would be with compressor. We can always see what are the improvements, what have they added into it. Now, once they are fully updated, you will see that they will move from up here, just like compressor did and move down here where it says updated recently. So right now there's no more updates for compressor. We can just go on and press on open to check it out. So uh, since Final Cut Pro is going to take a little bit longer since it is three gigs, let's just open up compressor meanwhile to see if there's anything new right away that we can see. So right now we're opening up compressor right here. It's going to tell us everything that's new. We can see a complete list just by clicking here. That's your option. But the main things are right here, guys. So you guys can see audio descriptions, optimize Apple and batch status notifications. We can just continue on. And here is compressor. So right now I'm just going to close this up for now. All right, so now that finally Final Cut Pro is done, we can just click on open as well down here below and open up Final Cut Pro. Now we might see something that's new. Uh, in my case, there's a lot of videos that I deleted already. So don't worry if you guys see something like mistakes on my end, because those are just videos that I deleted. So right now here, it should tell us what's new in Final Cut Pro. So same thing, we're looking at optimization. We're looking at some custom sets, enhanced search, and sort by media type. Obviously, there's a complete list of features here where we can click on. However, if you want to get started, just click on continue and we're all done. And once we do that, we should see something like this. So library should be updated to work with this version. So we're going to go ahead and update that. And that's why I always suggest having any projects done because sometimes here is when mistakes can happen and do happen sometimes. But anyways, once you're done that, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.